Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nkiru O here. I have missed you all while away on vacation. Today, I am back and I brought you a super delicious recipe, which you will definitely love. Without wasting precious time, let's dive into it. Join me in the kitchen, let's cook. Pre-cut, pre-cleaned turkey gizzards. Chopped red onions. You can use onion of your choice. A thumb of ginger. One teaspoon chicken bouillon. Cover it and steam for about 10 minutes so that it will release its own juice. Then add enough water to cover the meat and cook until the meat becomes soft. Meanwhile, prep the rest of the ingredients. Coarsely blend two red onions, scotch bonnet pepper, red bell pepper, and a thumb of ginger without water. Now the meat is cooked, remove from the stock. Remember to save the stock. Heat up three quarter cup of palm oil. Don't blanch it. Go ahead and fry the meat until lightly brown. In the same pot, saute chopped onion for about two minutes. Now go ahead and add the pepper mix. Cook until oil settles on top. That's an indication that it is well cooked. One teaspoon curry powder, two teaspoons chicken bouillon. Mix very well. Now go ahead and add the pre-rinsed rice. Mind you, some people don't like to pre-rinse their rice. I pre-rinse mine two to three times because I don't want it to be too starchy. Lest I forget, I am using four cups of parboiled rice. Add the stock you saved, plus additional water. I added a total of six cups of water. Now add deboned pre-washed dry fish. Dry fish takes this recipe a notch higher. Add two tablespoons ground crayfish, which takes it to another level too. Add two teaspoons dried scent leaves, we call it in Chuan in Igbo. You can use mint leaves if you don't have scent leaves. Now go ahead and re-add the fried meat. Mix to combine very well. Go ahead and check for salt and seasoning and adjust as needed. Cover the pot and bring it to a boil. Now go ahead and cover it with a foil and then the lid, lower the heat and allow it to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Use your spatula and mix everything very well, ensuring that all the ingredients marry together and the super deliciousness is ready. They say that the taste of the pudding is in the eating. I cannot emphasize enough the super deliciousness of this recipe. Go ahead and try it, I bet you, you will definitely, definitely love it. It's my guarantee to you.